Hey folks, Ethan Fletcher, your girly Leap Southside Ford Best in the Bend car guy. So today I'm sitting in a 2017 Ford Focus. Okay, here's the only thing I'm talking about today, and that's safety. And here's the reason, okay? The National Highway um, Transportation Safety Administration, I think I got it right on that. Anyways, one of the great, uh, great safety rating companies gave the Ford Focus a five-star safety rating, okay? Here's the truth of the matter. Safety should be one of the biggest things that you're looking at and what you're asking a salesperson about when you're looking at vehicles, especially when you're looking at small cars nowadays. And um, this vehicle got a five-star safety rating. Five-star, highest rating they could get. What that means is that the um, likelihood of injury in this vehicle is below average. Okay. What a huge deal. If you're in a vehicle, you want your likelihood of injury to be extremely low. Shoot, if I'm in an accident, I don't want to get injured at all. Okay. Now, sadly, probably not going to happen if you're in a really bad accident, but the Focus, one of the safest cars on the road. And the reason I want to go over all of the safety things is because I'm addressing one of the biggest issues. When you talk to a lot of old timers, you know what they say? They don't make cars like they used to. And those big cars were so much safer. Guess what, guys? Shut up. They weren't as safe, okay? You guys are full of crap because smaller, modern cars have been found to be safer than the older, bigger cars, okay? Tell you what, if I had a choice between putting um, my 16, 17, 18-year-old in a 99 Lincoln Town Car, which I love, by the way, or putting them in a 2015, 16, 17 Ford Focus, give me that Focus every day because I want to make sure my kids are safe. All right, so come with me. I'm going to talk about uh, all of the great safety features on the Ford Focus and why this should be your choice of car if you want something safe for your family. All right, so before I get into talking about what happens if you are in an accident with this vehicle, I want to talk about part of the accident avoidance that's going to come on this. Okay, so this vehicle, all around on it, I want you to check this out. This has what's called disc brakes on all four tires. Now, that makes your vehicle a lot safer, a lot better than stopping. It's gonna control when you're, when you're braking so your vehicle isn't doing all of this quite so much. Um, that's a big deal when you slam your brakes on ice or, or in a slippery spot, okay? So this has ABS, it's um, anti-lock braking system. And what that does is it controls your brakes so that if you slam the brakes, they're not gonna lock up on you and it's gonna help you with steering so that you don't spin out of control or uh, lose control of the vehicle, okay? In the past, you used to have to pump the brakes in, in order to do that so that um, you didn't spin out of control. Now, here's the thing about this. This has wheel speed sensors as well as steering angle sensors. Um, and what that does is it's not just when you slam on the brakes, okay? The ABS system is going to also be sensing so that when you're cruising down the road, maybe you're on the bypass and it's icy, slippery, um, it's going to be sensing um, how fast the tires are spinning. So if it notices any slippage, notices any spinning, it'll apply pressure to the brakes in order to keep the vehicle going straight down the road so that you don't lose control of it. All right, so here you can see the car and how well of a job Ford does of dressing it up, okay? So this has front and rear crumple zones that progressively deform in an accident so that they absorb the impact energy and reduce the crash forces in the cabin. So that if you do hit somebody head on or somebody rear ends you, that way you stay safe in the cabin. That way you don't feel as much of the impact um, that you've got going on there. Now also, more than 55% of the body structure is made from high strength and ultra high strength steel. Okay, and then critical occupant safety zones also use high strength lightweight boron steel, okay? It's very important that Ford is using that high quality of a product in this vehicle um, in order to keep you safe. Now also, up here in the front end, once again, you can't see it, but I'm gonna show you this beautiful vehicle anyways. You have a steel beam, um, a high strength boron steel beam here. It, it runs somewhere up in here, you can't see it, but if you took all of this off, you'd see it runs straight across here. And then it has also what's called shotgun rails that are gonna to connect to that, okay? Now what all of this does, okay, I'm not sure if I, if I mentioned what this is called, it's the Trinity Front Crash Structure. 
And, and what it does is um, it, it sends the impact forces into the roof structure, okay? So if somebody hits you front on up in here, you're gonna have that, that high strength steel beam running across here and it hits the shotgun rails and it's, it's gonna take it up into the roof so that it's not coming um, in and hitting you. Now what this also has in uh, part of the front is it has what's called decoupling engine cradle, okay, which is going to prevent intrusion of the engine into the cabin so that you don't end up with an engine sitting in your lap. And then one more thing here on the outside is it also has side door intrusion beams, okay? That way if somebody hits you head on right in the side here or you, um, you go into a V, uh, sorry, you go into a post, um, that way it's going to keep that from coming into the cabin, okay? Obviously nothing is ever guaranteed, but that's just one of the, the added safety features to keep something from uh, coming into the cabin and, and taking you out. All right, folks, so back on the inside of the car, okay? All the safety things that you have going on in here to keep you safe. Now, this vehicle has, um, I'm just going to say, a ton of sensors in it, okay? I don't, I can't name off all the sensors. I, I couldn't possibly remember all of them that it has in it. Um, but what these sensors are doing, okay, it's sensing the vehicle speed. It's sensing whether or not you have your seatbelts on where the seat is, um, the driver's seat that I'm sitting in now, where it's positioned at. Um, it's going to sense if there's somebody in the passenger seat, if they're buckled in, if they have their seatbelt in. And what all of that is going to do is it's going to, um, it's going to decide how the airbags are deployed. Okay. Because you have, sorry here, uh, you have a couple different airbags. You've got one here and you have a driver knee airbag down here on the bottom that's going to protect you, okay? You also have one over here in the dash, of course, okay? Got to make sure you're buckled in, especially if you're the passenger. Um, it's super important because it's going to decide the, the impact of the airbags and, and, and how they come up. And it's also going to decide how the seatbelt works as well. So it has all these sensors sensing all that stuff. It's going to sense the force of the impact as well, which is, which is going to affect the airbags also. Now, part, part of this personal uh, safety system that's in the vehicle, it also has side curtain airbags here, okay? And that has what's called roll fold technology. And it's designed so that in the case of a rollover accident or that if um, somebody hits you from the side, it's designed so that it will come down between the glass and the occupant to, to keep you safe from smacking your head, to keep um, you safe from glass hitting you as well. All right, so this has seven airbags in it all together. It, uh, it has two frontal airbags, has your driver knee airbag, has the SO, uh, sorry, uh, I'm getting ahead of myself, has the uh, side curtain airbags here, and um, also has two driver seat airbags, or uh, I'm sorry, uh, driver and passenger seat airbags in the front. Um, also, this has the SOS post-crash alert system, and what's that? what that is going to do is if you are in an accident and uh, the airbags blow, it's going to start honking the horn intermittently and uh, flashing the lights. That way, if you go off the road somewhere, um, uh, whether you go in a ditch or you know maybe you're middle of the night and you're in the country someplace, it's going to alert people that you've been in an accident. There's somebody out there you need help. It's also going to unlock the doors automatically. Okay, that way um, emergency personnel can get into the vehicle easily. So, folks, I want to thank you so much for watching. And um, a lot of these safety features are on many other Ford vehicles as well, okay? But this is on the Ford Focus. This is specifically what's on the Ford Focus, and, and it gives us that five-star overall safety rating that, that we got. And it makes it very safe whether you're older, middle-aged, young. It doesn't matter. Um, it's very important to be in a safe car because life is precious. Folks, thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.